Finally, I've bought a new microphone, and it sounds great. You're just listening to its sound right now. And one of the most surprising facts is that this machine is very affordable for the high quality it provides. This is a review for the condenser microphone BM800, a gear that provides high quality of sound and low price. Well, I have to confess that this is an ambitious project. This whole channel is an ambitious project. Well, you know, a lot of ideas, low budget. Actually, when you are starting a new career, whatever career it is, the feeling of frustration can be very recurrent due to the lack of budget to successfully complete your projects. However, if your problem is I can't afford a decent microphone to record my content, well, it can help you. And trust me, this is probably the best cost-effective microphone you'll find on the market. I am currently living in Brazil. Yeah, Samba! I'm telling this because probably that's not a popular microphone in your region. However, some factors in this country make the price of products like this very high. And that can easily be a reality in other countries around the world. And probably one of the main reasons that make products like this so popular. Therefore, don't be surprised if in your region, where products in general are perhaps more accessible, you've never heard of microphones about this one. When researching to record this review, I found videos especially from South America and Asia. I believe this is not a popular equipment in the US or Europe. However, wherever you are around the world, it is totally worth looking for this amazing machine. Ok, so let's start the unboxing. Ooh, I just feel like 8-bit guy unboxing that way. After the box was delivered to my house, I immediately grabbed my stylus and my camera to record. Frankly, I was very excited to test this since I heard many positive reviews before about this microphone. And here it is, the professional condenser microphone BM800. Ooh. Upon opening the box, the following components came. A pop filter. A specification card, yeah, that's not a manual. A beautiful golden microphone, of course. A microphone phone that for some reason came crushed. Bruh. Joking, that's not a problem at all. We got a shock mount. A USB splitter adapter if you use a laptop. A TRS XLR cable. An articulated arm. A stand for dynamic mics, I think and a table clamp for the articulated arm. I'm very surprised, that's a lot of stuff for a cheap bundle. The only cons is that there's no any manual explaining how to assemble it. However, that's easy to do, I did it in less than 3 minutes, I think. If you haven't mind buying a mic like this, I'll show how I can assemble it. Let's go! First, take the table clamp and adjust it tight to fit the arm. Fit the arm into the table clamp and tighten. Remove the extra plastic cap that comes with a kit and install the shock mount. Tighten well. Fit the mic into the shock mount. If you prefer, you can put the phone in the mic. Plug the XLR side of the cable into the microphone. And plug the TRS side of the cable to your recording device. You can also try installing the pop filter if you want. And we did it! This is our new setup. Now to the computer. Click to the right button of the mouse to the speaker icon. Select the option Sound. Select the Recording tab. Click on with the right button of the mouse to the icon of the microphone you will use. 
and set this device as default. Now click twice with the left button of the mouse to the microphone icon and turn the sensitivity parameter all the way up. That will allow you to control the sensitivity of your microphone from your recording software. Make sure that your quality of recording on this window is the same that you will use in your recording software. All done, so you can listen to your microphone to make sure it's working properly. Just select the Listen tab and select Listen to the device. Hey, that's me. It is important to remember that if you prefer using a mixing board, the quality will be even better. I have a mixing board, but it doesn't have a high quality, so it's not worth using it. One more item for the shopping list. Next, close the window and open your recording software. The DAW I use is Reaper. However, the configuration I'm using to install the microphone to my device doesn't change so much among the computers. Create a new track and add the effect of equalization if you prefer. As I told you before, I'm not using for a while a mixing board. So the solution that I found to remove the white noise from the recording is using a denoiser plugin. And that's all, all I have to do now is to have fun. The following program is brought to you in living colors on Cobb TV. What about testing a vocoder? R-E-O-K-C-O-P This is KCOP Radio Station Wow wow Now let's finish with nerd stuff Nerd stuff Nerd Nerd, nerd stuff. stuff Oh yeah According to the specification card We have some important technical information Such as the unidirectional polar pattern that means that the microphone captures the sound in one direction. The frequency response is between 20 Hz and 20 kHz. The same range of frequency that the human ear can listen to. And next, we have a very important parameter by selecting a microphone. The output impedance and the load impedance. This is a very important concept in audio. It helps to measure how hard it is for a signal to travel through the medium. A proper impedance doesn't help necessarily to have a better audio quality. However, if the microphone has a mismatched impedance, it can lead to issues such as signal loss, reduced frequency response and noise. The BM800 has 15 ohm of output impedance and the low impedance is higher than 1000 ohms. The electric current measures 3 mA. Finally, net weight is 34 grams and body dimensions are 46 by 150 mm. As I told you, I am living in Brazil. Yes, yeah, Samba! And even here, the price for this microphone was very affordable. 134 reais. Reais, I don't know. Considering that $1 worth 4.85 Brazilian reais. Today, on the date of recording this video, I paid about $27 for an excellent mic. This tool is perfect for those who want to start recording content for the internet, but don't have good initial budget to start. This is not a sponsored video but a recommendation of something that helped me a lot. So that's it guys, thank you very much, click the like button, subscribe to the channel this way you can help me to grow. And that's it, thank you and see you in the next video.